Hi, I hope you're having a wonderful day. My day is going great. Please forgive the shadow that you see going past my face. That's the sunset and there's a wind turbine between myself and the sun. And so that's why you see that shadow. But the day is so pretty. I mean, the sky is completely clear. The, the weather is beautiful. There's just no way I could not be outside just enjoying this sunshine. So I've received a lot of comments in reference to a video that I posted up where I talked about being uh, African-American. And I really like those comments in the sense that what I, much of what I'm reading is people who are saying, hey, you shouldn't refer to yourself as African-American. You should only refer to yourself as American. And if you were British, then you would only be British. You wouldn't necessarily refer to yourself as African-British. right? And so I like that thought process. I like that mindset. I think that that is absolutely the direction that the world should be going in and absolutely the way the world should see itself. It's really hard for me uh, as an African-American, which is how I see myself, to envision a world where I don't have to use the qualifier first. I think we should get to the point to where no one has to think of themselves as African-American or Hispanic-American or some other variation and only see themselves as American. That is part of the thought process and part of the reasoning behind me wanting to get outside of the United States anyways to give myself a broader perspective of the world in which I live so I can understand better how I am perceived by other people and you know my own way of perceiving others as well. So I just wanted to kind of do a quick take on that and I agree with it. I like it. I support it. I am American of African heritage, but I'm American. And so for anyone who is questioning and wondering about that, that's kind of my take on it. And I'm not naive. I know that everyone in the world doesn't feel the same way. Everyone in the world doesn't agree and will not agree. And that's fine. That's totally okay. I don't think we can ever or should ever have everyone in the world agreeing to the exact same anything. Only the fact that we have to use oxygen and breathe or something along that line. People have the right to individual thought, individual opinions, and expression. And so those things are all completely okay and acceptable. But in general, I think we should be moving in a direction to where there's more unity and where there's more harmony and to where people stop to see, stop seeing themselves uh, and seeing everyone as others and just start seeing us as we, if that makes any sense. I think that the world could definitely be better off if we could all kind of look at each other and see more similarities than just focusing on our differences. The concept of self and recognizing who you are is so interesting. I have done the genetic testing to look at my genetic profile and to see my ancestry and it's really, really quite interesting. It's interesting in the sense that Obviously, I have a lot of African heritage in the sense that, look at me, right? So I'm about 86% West African, which is understandable. Like my heritage goes to Nigeria and Sierra Leone and Ghana and places like that. And that makes a lot of sense. I'm also about 11% European, 10.8% from the British Isles. 1% from Southeast Asia, predominantly China, and the rest is unclassified. And that just blows me away if you really think about it. I mean, I know what I look like, but on the inside, there's a lot of other things in there as well. So self-identification is really interesting. I mean, we look in the mirror and we identify who we are based off of what we look like, I do believe, and how we're raised and, and how we are reared. And, and kind of who we told we are and so we believe that and that makes sense and that's how the world looks at each other and we do self-identification and we identify each other identify each other as groups and, and things of like that so all that makes complete sense all of it makes sense but when you kind of peel the onion back a little bit the identification is different i mean in in reality all humans are 
much more closely related than we are separate. I think we all share like 99% of all the same DNA runs through all individuals, all human homo sapiens, right? We're all pretty much the same. We judge each other mostly by our geographical differences, where we're from, and by our physiological differences, what we look like. But that's just not exactly all of who we are. It doesn't completely define the person or the individual. So you have to kind of think about it like that. But just to wrap this up really quickly, I like the comments that I've been receiving to, to just say, hey, you're American. And I, I agree with that. I am 100% American, born and raised. Arkansas is my home. It will always be my home. America, always, right? But I don't necessarily have to refer to myself always as African American, but I don't want to deny my African heritage. So American of African descent is what I would say. But I appreciate the comments. Thank you. They mean a lot to me. Take care.